Hi guys, Cindy here with Pleasant Sims, and welcome to part two of episode 49 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we are back in the Ramirez household. It's 5.30 in the morning and everybody is waking up here on Wednesday morning. Uh, Lisa just woke up and ran to the bathroom, which for a second I was like, is she pregnant? But then I realized that they haven't even woohooed since I started playing them. So no, she's not pregnant. She just really had to pee. Poor Tessa's been awake since like 11 o'clock at night uh, because she went to bed so early yesterday. But she's doing her homework. She had the want to do her homework. And I'm just going to kind of check on everybody, see what we need to do. Look at this. Chica wants to sell lemonade again. <laughs> we might have to send him out in the yard again today. Maybe he'll put his suit on for that, though. He also wants to get a silver sales talent badge. So he'll be going back to the furniture store today to uh, work on his salesmanship. And of course, Lisa just wants to get a bunch of skills. So we'll probably work on her skills. And I'm just gonna get everybody ready for the day. Tessa loves playing with this little uh, teddy bear. She doesn't have any other toys in her room. Well, the next time somebody gains a want to get a toy, we'll get her like a dollhouse or something. I have also replaced the family computer with a hacked computer so they can shop online and pay their bills. Um, they don't have a lot of cash to start investing yet, but I think Chico probably eventually will want to invest some money, start saving. And I want to talk about the chairs too, because I know some people were saying on my comments for part one of this video that there was a problem with the dining room chairs that the Sims were getting stuck in them, but I haven't had any issues. My Sims have been eating here and uh, they've been just fine. They've been getting in and out of the chairs. So I don't know if I have a fix for that or what's what the deal with that is, guys, but it's working for me. Oh, I love the chandelier too. That is so pretty. And okay, so they're just getting ready for the day. They've just had breakfast and I'm about to send them off to the furniture store. Um, I've also downloaded the community lot time mod which I know I said I wasn't going to do in the last episode, but I thought I would give it a try because of the way the whole set hour thing worked with Tessa being at school. So we're going to try and see how that goes. And that means somebody's going to have to come back home uh, by the time Tessa gets off school. So they're going to go to the store about 10 a.m. and they're going to come home at 3. That doesn't leave them a lot of time uh, to make money, but they're going to do the best they can. And we might have to hire an additional employee to kind of run the store when they're not there because they're not going to be able to be there all the time with their child uh, at home. All right, here we are at the furniture store on Wednesday morning. Uh, Chico really loves to look for birds instead of going into work, which is kind of strange. <laughs> I'm going to send them in to open up the store. Uh, Lisa, go ahead and open up the store for the day. And we're going to work on their salesmanship and hopefully making some more money for the family. But they are going to be leaving around 3 p.m. So they can be home with Tessa. They have spent their entire lives building this furniture store. And if you didn't know, uh, the way that they met is Lisa applied for a job at the furniture store that Chico owned. And she worked here as a sales girl for him. And I guess after all that time of working together, they fell in love and got married. Chico was really impressed by her work ethic. He loves a woman who likes to work. And uh, she was just really smitten by his uh, charismatic personality. And you know, when you spend that much time with somebody, you start to have a little affection for them. Well, Chico, where are you? You've got a customer. He's still out here looking at birds. So they got married and they spent their whole lives working on this furniture store. Get over here and sell. We're not going to offer that for ridiculously cheap. It's already very cheap. They love these Formica tables. And now that uh, Lisa and Chico are older, um, they're tired of spending every waking hour at the store. And they want to spend time with Tessa. And I'm really hoping they're going to have a want to have another child before Lisa gets too old. Okay, Lisa, where are you? Let's get busy selling. All right, so Matthew Erickson here just bought one of these averagely priced chairs, which is nice. And, uh, oh, so did this guy. So they're just making sale. Oh, that's Brandon Lillard. <laughs> I didn't recognize him with those clothes on. Okay, no, you don't need to sell to him. He already bought something. 
So they're just making sales all over the place today. And it's really awesome to have two people. I think any other time I've ever played a business, I've only had one sim working in the store. And then they had to hire employees and they didn't make very much profit. Dude, get that look off your face, Matthew. He was acting like she was taking too long. You're the one who wants to buy the chair. And so having both of them work in the store has been really awesome. And they've been able to really make some profit. Although I have not restocked anything yet. And I'm trying to wait on doing that if I can. Whoa, I just looked out back and uh, Goopy here completely cleaned out our back lot. Look, he bought everything back here. So I guess he was really sold. Um, Chico, get over here and sell to Freddy Farmer. We are making a ton of money today. Let's look. What are our expenses? I don't even know what expenses. Maybe I did restock something. Uh, but we've made 409 today alone. Oh my gosh, stop neglecting. Stop neglecting your customers <laughs> and ring them up. That's another thing though, when you have two playable sims, you really have to stay on it to make sure all the jobs get done. Like I keep looking over here and there's somebody at the cash register, but they're doing well. And they are selling so much furniture that they really do need to restock at this point. And I think I'm, we're gonna have to hire a single employee and I'm gonna see how that goes. Uh, maybe just somebody part-time to help them restock. Wow, <laughs> Lisa and Chico. <laughs> they just decided to start getting down <laughs> in the middle of the store. You guys have customers, come on now. She just bought another one of these chairs. This set here has been a big seller. Guys, please, come on, check out the customers. <laughs> okay, so Chico, I'm gonna have him, yes! Congratulations, your business is now rank three and you've gained a point to spend on business perks. Okay, that's really good for us because we're just about to start restocking. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the business perks. We're gonna get this third one in the wholesale tree for Bargain Hunter. Your business, your business's rising popularity has really given you an edge with your wholesalers. You can buy at much lower prices now. Awesome, that's perfect. So we're gonna select that and then I'm gonna have Chico go to the phone and he's gonna hire an employee. Oops, don't call us him. Hire employees for this lot and let's see who uh, is available and who needs a job? Maybe a teenager or somebody we can pay really cheap. Wow, they just made 398, check that out. And Goopy was in here in the staff lounge. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, Amar Hamilton only requires 15 an hour. Jay Gilbert, he already has a job. I don't wanna take somebody who already has a job. I wanna take somebody, you know, I think an elder might be nice. Uh, Lindsay Hamilton. He already has a job. She has a toy making badge. Okay, no, she's not. And she already has a job as well. She's got skills too. But I think we're gonna hire Lindsay Hamilton. Um, she's an elder, she needs a part-time job. She's unemployed. We only have to pay her 15 an hour. So let's hire her. I think she'd be very good as our stalker. I don't know how she's gonna carry around all that heavy furniture. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> we just hired an old lady to, to haul around all this heavy furniture. Well, it's The Sims. The furniture just magically appears. Look at all these sales they're making. I'm so proud of them. Wow, Goopy just bought a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Goopy, thank you. All right, I'm just waiting for our employee to arrive now. I don't see her. Ooh, we made 230 simoleons from investing. Oh my gosh, it's four o'clock, you guys. It's four o'clock and I didn't even notice. So we're gonna have to close down the shop. All right, let's go over here to our employee and set her task. And she just came in for the initial interview today and she'll actually start working tomorrow. So let's set her as Assign to restock items. Tess is at home alone. She's a latchkey child, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and close up for the day. And then we, we will send, uh, I forgot her name, Lindsay home. Thank you for coming in, Lindsay. You can start tomorrow. We've got a lot of work for you to do here. 
But with the kind of money they're making, I think it's fine to have one uh, additional employee. Wow, Lisa, really? Is it that hard to use the cash register? She's not very good at it at all. And after everything gets stocked up, we will probably have Lindsay uh, work the cash register so Lisa can sell. Okay, well, Lisa and Chico are back, and for some reason, the mod did not work. Now, I read that... Uh, Sometimes it won't work for certain types of transport. Like if the Sims go you go walk a lot, it won't work. It'll only work if they take taxi. So I'm going to try to have them take a taxi to work tomorrow and see if it works. Uh, or the next time they go, they might not go to work tomorrow. Uh, but it did not work because they just came back and it's 1037 a.m. So if anybody has any tips or any ideas for why it didn't work, um, Leave me a comment, because I don't know. It should be like almost 6 p.m., but it's not. So something went wrong there. So they're back at 10 a.m., and they can just uh, hang out for the rest of the day and wait for Tessa to get home. I'm not going to do set hour again, just because I don't want poor Tessa to be left at school all night long. <laughs> so they're going to hang out today. He still didn't get his silver sales talent badge. I guess he wasn't sell selling enough. Maybe next time. They ended up making 2,700 simoleons today at work. It was amazing. Okay, it's 3 p.m. and Tessa is now home and she's now one of the top students at school. Good for you, Tessa. She's doing very well. And Chico has the want to buy a car and I think that's uh, something we can fulfill for them. We might have to move the lemonade stand. Wow, she is really excited about that uh, grade. <laughs> There's Sherry Richard. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can put a driveway here and let's get them a car. And maybe that'll help with the community time mod as well. And here is the Ramirez's new car. I bought them a Ford Explorer in green. I think that looks like something that Chico and Lisa would drive. Um, this is a custom car. And I really, really love, I think, I don't know if Fresh Prince did this one or if somebody else did this one. But I love these custom cars. My only problem is I don't like that they have English on the license plate. That really bothers me. I want it to have Simlish because I don't put anything with English lettering in my game because my Sims don't speak English. So that would just be like gibberish to them. So that bothers me, but I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going to suspend reality a little bit more. Pretend that doesn't exist because if not, I wouldn't have any cars in my game. So there is their new car. Wow, Lisa. Lisa's asleep on this bench outside. <laughs> Townies are just walking by. So that fulfilled his want to uh, buy a car. And now he has some wants to talk to Lisa. I was really hoping that they would get... What am I doing here? That they would get some wants to interact with each other. All right. Wake up, Lisa. Wake up and talk to your husband. She just wants to see a ghost and gain skill levels. So they're not getting any wants related to their family secondary aspirations. So I'm trying to fulfill more of the wants that they have in the hopes that they will roll some of those. And let's see. Tessa wants to get a pet. Oh, but she's really tired, so she's taking a nap, and we'll see if she still wants to do that when she wakes up. It is Thursday morning in the Ramirez household, and Lisa and Chico are waking up. Let's see. Uh, they don't want to do anything family-related still, which is driving me crazy. Uh, but they need to take care of their needs. And also, Tessa rolled the want to get a puppy. So we probably will be getting a pet for this family. Uh, maybe whenever Tessa comes home from school. I am not going to send them to the furniture store today. They're going to take the day off and hang out around the house and I'm going to try to fulfill as many of their wants as I can. Um, so hopefully I can get them to roll a want to have a baby or at least woohoo with each other. And I don't know if you just noticed that but Chico is checking out the art in the bathroom and I found out that his hobby 
is arts and crafts. He loves art. Where's his hobby? Or his hobbies. There we go. Arts and crafts. He loves just looking at the art in the house. Like, he's even looking at the towel rack. He's like, yes, that's a lovely towel rack. Posters. He doesn't care. He likes it all. If it's decorative. He has really tacky taste. He also wants to sell lemonade this morning. So, <laughs> I think I'm going to send him back down to the lemonade stand. I could have him gain a skill point or buy a makeover station. No. But instead, we're going to make him go sell lemonade. Oh my gosh, Tessa, wake up. The bus is here. Hurry and get on the bus before... Oh no. <laughs> it's too late. All of the school children are going to see your dad outside <laughs> selling lemonade. Hey, at least he has his coat on this time, though. And then when Tessa gets home, we will see about getting the family a puppy. They don't have much cash right now because they spent a lot on the new car. Hey, Rufus, why don't you buy a cup of lemonade here? All right, sell it. Sell that lemonade. Oh, he's hungry. All right, he's too hungry to sell lemonade. It's just going to sit out there and rot now. It is 3 p.m. and Tessa just got home from school and she brought a friend home from school. She brought Faith Landgrab home, who also lives in Blue Water Village. So that's cool. Maybe they can become friends. They're not in the same generation, but they're close enough that they can become friends. Uh, Chico and Lisa have really just been working on their skills today. That's all they really wanted to do. Chico's tried to sell lemonade a couple times, but he hasn't made any sales. Um, and now he just wants to buy stuff. Oh. Still no wants from their secondary aspirations. I'm going to have, uh, oh, we need to get them a puppy. Now she wants a kitten, but she wanted a puppy first, so that's what we're going to get. I'm going to have Lisa call up the uh, adoption agency. Do we even have a phone downstairs? Oh, yeah, we do. And we're going to get the family a dog, and that ought to add a little more fun for Tessa at least. Aw, oh, Faith is so cute. Okay, pet adoption service. She's just down here playing video games. Tessa, come down here and play with your friend. Alright, so we have male puppy, female puppy, and Max. Okay, we're, we're gonna adopt Max because I like to, like to adopt all of the named animals first. So we're gonna adopt Max. He's finicky, uh, not aggressive or cowardly. He's independent. And he's a genius. He looks like a good dog. And he's a big dog, too. Yeah, well, we're just going to adopt him. It's fine. Yes. So we need to buy all of our puppy stuff. But I really want Tessa to come down here and play with her friend. And uh, I'm going to buy the dog stuff and we're going to prepare for the arrival of our new pet. All right, our new puppy is here, and this wriggling, pu wriggling pup needs a new name. We're going to keep his name of Max. Oh, look, there's Vincent Broke. Aw, oh, here he comes, little Max. Okay, Lisa, why don't you come get him? Oh, look, Tessa and Faith are playing cops and robbers. And Lisa's going to come and pick up the puppy and bring him inside. He's really cute, but you can't tell what they look like at all when they're that small. You have to wait until they're grown. Aww. So Tessa is having a lot of fun with her new puppy, Max. And we're going to teach her some responsibility once she gets out of the bathroom. She's going to go and fill up his dog food bowl. And let's see, uh, how long does he, oh, he's just a brand new puppy, so we have five days until he becomes an adult dog. And then she wants to play with Faith, so I'm going to have them play together, and then maybe she'll work on her homework. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get Chico and uh, Lisa to want to have babies or do any kind of woohoo or romantic interactions. 
I've been trying to fulfill their wants and I'm just gonna continue with that for the rest of the day. Um, it is 6 p.m. so everybody's aged up again. Chico is now 46 years old, Lisa is 44, and Tessa is nine. So they seem kind of old to be having another baby, but you have to remember that fertility works a little bit different in The Sims 2 world than it does in the real world. In fact, our Sims stay fertile all the way up until they're around 57 years old. So they do still have plenty of time to produce another heir, or an heir at all. I really want them to have a son. It is 9.30 in the morning on Friday, uh, and Tessa has gone off to school. They are running low on cash. They only have 992 simoleons because they bought the new car, and they just had to pay their bills. Uh, Lisa's been working on her creativity skill this morning, and Chico has also gained a charisma skill. Neither of them have had any wants for any type of romantic relations or to ha try for a baby so once again no baby I'm so disappointed but I'm gonna go ahead and send them to the furniture store so they can earn some more cash for the family today and maybe Chico can get his uh, silver sales talent badge and if he does maybe he'll start getting some family related ones let's hope so we're gonna leave little Max here alone today I'm gonna make sure that he has plenty of food and we're also going to uh, take the car today. We're going to take the car to the furniture store and see if the community time mod will work. And here we are at work on this fine Friday morning. Um, we're going to go ahead and get Chico to call in our employee, <laughs> our old lady, Lindsay. And then we're going to open the business. Lindsay's going to get busy stocking all of these items that they sold. They sold a lot of stuff. They sold almost this entire set here. Um, they sold a chair here, and then out back they sold a lot of their cheap uh, outdoor furniture. So that all needs to be replaced. Um, luckily, they have a pretty good wholesale discount from their business perks. And they've made 3,146 simoleons total, and that was only with two days of working. So we're going to see uh, what we can do today. And it looks like Sandy Broody is our first customer, and we're going to get to work on her. So Don Lothario came in the store and he started looking at this very expensive couch here. So I sent Lisa over right away to try and sell him on it. He's not even halfway there, but I'm hoping Lisa can charm him. Uh, offer at expensive. <laughs> Let's try that. Come on, Lisa. Use your charms on Don. He's easy to manipulate. Oops. We'll sell you this couch for super expensive. It's a great deal. Oh, he said he didn't like that. That was a bad move. Okay, just do a basic sell again. Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. You've got work to do, Lisa. You've got to convince Don to buy this couch. We need the money. Look, they they only have 79 simoleons. They have got to make a sell here. It's be okay, we're going to have to take uh we're gonna have to take Lindsay off of restocking right now because they don't have enough money to restock. So let's assign her to be the cashier for now. All right, don't go kiss Chico. Let's assign her to be the cashier. Please stop stocking because we're out of money. And I just noticed that Lindsay, our employee, um, she kind of has the hots for Lisa. So that's something I need to keep in mind. <laughs> she's walking by, she's like, ooh, you are hot, mama. All right, but Lisa is getting closer to selling Dawn on this couch. We need to make the sale. Ooh, that's good, that's good. I don't know what the red star means. Nope, he's not gonna buy it. Darn it. I hope Dawn doesn't get any ideas in his head about Lisa though. Oh no, one or more of our employees could not be paid due to lack of funds. If you continue to deny employees their paychecks, their work performance may decrease and they may quit. Okay, we have got to do something here. Where is our employee? She's supposed to be at the cashier. She's supposed to be a cashier right now. What is she even doing? Okay, today is not going so well, and I think it's because we tried to restock everything at once. That was a mistake. Um, where is Chico? Oh, he's going to go over here and congratulate uh, Lisa, but he needs to be working on these sales. We couldn't sell uh, Don on the really expensive couch, but maybe we can sell him on 
one of these averagely priced chairs. We need some money fast before Lindsay quits. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Lindsay's quitting, you guys. We made, we actually made some sales and uh, Lisa is in the process of ringing up our customers, but it was too late. Lindsay quit. And you know, she wasn't that great of a, of a uh, employee anyway. We're going to get somebody younger who can really cart around this furniture. So I guess it's okay that she quit. I mean, you can't really blame her. After two paychecks that they weren't able to pay her, she was just done. Yeah, so... Okay, well, they're not going to rehire anybody else just yet, um, and they're just not going to restock until they make some more money here. But we've got two customers in line. Olga and Ricky both bought something. I believe Don bought a chair, too. He's just not up here checking out yet. Oh, man, Ricky bought something for, like, 694 bucks. So that was really helpful. I don't know how he's a teenager. I don't know how he could afford that. I know, Olga. She's so slow on the cash register. She's trying her best. Okay, it's 6 p.m. and they've just finished uh, checking everybody out and closing up the store. And they did make a little bit of a profit. Now we have 2200 uh, Don bought some expensive furniture, so that was nice. And they did lose their one and only employee, but I think I'm going to try to have them do it without her because the stocking just the restocking just took too much of their money. I did have them restock some of these cheap tables out here and these things sell like crazy. They already sold another one. So we're just gonna stock whatever they have enough money to stock and I'm not gonna have anybody on that job permanently. Um, but it's time to go home. We're gonna see if the community lot mod works. The community time lot mod. Oh, that's a lot to say. All right, Chico and Lisa are home from work. It's 11 a.m. just like it was when they left. So once again, the community time lot mod did not work. Whether they walked or drove, it didn't make a difference. Um, so yeah, leave me any comments if you have any suggestions on how I can get that to work. Or maybe I've done something wrong. I don't know. I'll check into it later. But right now, uh, they're home. So I'm just going to keep fulfilling their wants and see if we can get anything interesting to happen. It looks like they're getting romantic with each other on their own. So that's a good sign. And actually, this episode is starting to get a little bit long, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end part two here. Um, we still have a lot of things to happen in part three. Tessa is going to age up to 18, and Lisa is also going to have some adventures of her own. So we're going to stop here. Um, for part two, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in my gameplay rules or any of the mods I use, or if you want to see my Sim profiles and family trees. I also have a lot of other Sims 2 related content there. And you can follow me on social media. I am on Twitter and Instagram, and now I am also on Pinterest, so feel free to follow me there while I where I will be pinning all of the custom content that I find on my Pinterest page. Again, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you with part three of this episode very soon.